Hi, beautiful people welcome to our Developer's Diary YouTube channel. Today we shall learn how to create an account in Cloud MongoDB Atlas and connect with Node.js application. Kindly subscribe our channel so that you can get amazing and informative videos. So, for cloud account creation, we are at MongoDB Cloud Atlas register page. Enter your email and password, then press the continue button. Enter your first name and then the last name. Mention your company name is optional, it's up to you. Then mention how you are using this MongoDB. Check the tick against sentence that I have agreed on the terms of services and privacy policy. Then press the create account button. It will take some time. So after that, we have to verify our email ID. MongoDB will send the verification link to your email ID. This link will expire shortly so verify it. Open your email portal. A verification email has been received. Scroll down and click the verify email link button. It will open a new page in browser. After your link verification, MongoDB will show the email successfully verified. Press the continue button. It will take some time and the welcome page of MongoDB Atlas will show. The welcome page will take some time. After that, it will redirect to your welcome to the Atlas, where you will mention some information about your project and yourself. First question, what is your goal today? I am selecting learning MongoDB. Second question, what type of application you are building? I am selecting the other option and telling Mongo about what I am building. Third question, what is your preferred language? I am selecting JavaScript, then click the finish button. For deploying your database on the Atlas Cloud, you need to choose a deployment option. Here you can see there are three options, serverless, dedicated and shared. The shared option is free, so I am choosing this option for testing purpose. Here you can see the cloud cluster information for your shared deployment option, following options like cloud provider and the region. You can see three cloud providers here, Amazon, Google Cloud, and Azure. And in the region, North America, Europe, Australia, Asia, and more are showing. Cluster tier, additional setting, and cluster name tabs are showing there. You can change the cluster name, but I shall go with the default setting of the cluster. So click the create cluster button. It will take some time almost 2 to 3 minutes. You will see the cluster option and deployment option on your dashboard. Click the connect button for setting up your connection option with your cluster. For connection, you need to create a database user. So let's create a database user. Also, add a connection IP address. You can see the IP access list. Then choose the connection option. Here, you can see three options. Now let's load the sample data sheet in your cluster. Click the three dot button. Click the load sample data set. Sample data set successfully loaded in your cluster. You can see the data set by click on the browse collection button. You can see the sample databases and collections in them. By clicking any collection you can see the documents in it. In a sample Airbnb, I have selected listing and reviews collection. You can see the documents on the right side. Also, you can create a new database. For connecting your MongoDB, let's create a Node.js application. Create an empty folder and open it in Visual Studio Code. Let's open a terminal. 
and write a command npm in it, and simply press enter for each option. It will create a packaged SYN file for your application. The JSON file is created. Now add some dependency that will secure your connection, connect with your MongoDB, provide details about your HTTP requests and automatically reload your application after any change. It will take some time for installation your dependencies. All the dependencies have been installed. You can check the version in the package.json file now change the script values from test to start and mention nodeman with your index.js file, nodeman will automatically update your application index file after any change in it. Because of this there is no need to refresh your application again and again by yourself. Now create an index.js file, import your express dependency and create an app variable from this. Now listen to this app from a specific port I am using 8800. In the callback function mention console log, the back end is working. Now, enter yarn start and press enter, so the back end is working properly. Now import remaining dependencies, mongoose.env, helmet, morgan. Let's configure.env environment. Create.env file, and mention mongodb connection URL in this file. Open your MongoDB cluster, click to connect your application and copy the URL. Mention your database name I am using this sample Miflix database.
connect and enter your password. .env file, secure your connection URL and password, and no one can see this file for stealing your password on server. Using Mongoose dependency you can connect your application with MongoDB. Mongoose.connect function can help you with connection. Enter an argument in it. Process.env.url name that you have mentioned in your .env file. Also, enter a callback function with console.log connected to MongoDB. So your application is connected with DB.